look for that. And but we might be blessed with a new Facebook player. I've been bitching about this player, their embedded video player. We're gonna suffer through that three times today because we've got some amazing, incredible videos. Do you know I was threatened by a comedian again? Uh, physically threatened by a comedian named Jeff Leach. Would you like to see that tape here at the beginning of the show? Jules, why don't you cue that up for everybody here today? Jeff Leach, he's a small-time comedian. This guy, we were talking about him last week uh, because he was one of those corona uh, complainers. He's just a comedian. He's bragging all the time about how great he is. And then Corona hits and he goes, I have no money, no savings, no health. He's British. He's an exact, well, he used to be an exact replica of Russell Brand. Do you know Russell Brand? That fucking loser. I hate Russell Brand. Uh, Jeff Leach decided he was going to be Russell Brand as well. And he really uh, styled his life around that. He would wear like a leather vest. He would wear no sleeves. Uh, he had the long hair, British accent, very eccentric. But he didn't have any muscles. He wasn't that type of guy. You really have to be that type of guy. You have to be like a Tommy Lee, Steven Tyler type Loose. of guy. Loose. You can't be like an insecure baby who's constantly you know, uh, worried about his looks and stuff like that to be one of these guys. So he's, he's kind of transitioned into a different type of guy, but he's very, very lost. And we talked about him because he was saying, I have no savings. This was like day two of Corona. I have no savings. I have no money. What am I going to do? I'm fucked. I need cash. And we laughed like hyenas. Uh, well, somebody went into his chat. He games. He does gaming. I don't know about you. If, if you don't have any money, no savings, no health insurance, maybe you shouldn't be spending all day live gaming. He's a gaming celebrity, though. Remember, we learned that, too. Keemstar even mentioned him a few weeks ago on one of his yeah, we drama that on alert. The show. Oh, we did. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been fully threatened by him. Would you like to? Would you like to hear Jeff Leach threaten me? Because uh, he says some really disturbing things about me here today. Uh, Jeff Leach flips out at Red Bar. Jeff Leach, come on down, buddy. And, you know, we used to talk about him a few years ago here and there. We don't really cover him that Very much. Very minor character. Yeah, in our minds, Jeff Leach, you know, but we're crazy. You know, we forget, like, uh, yeah, if you spend 20 minutes at a guy, that's probably crazy to them. To us, that's nothing compared to what we do over here. So, uh some guys have years. Yeah, some guys have years. So to see this, we were very alarmed. But this fucking rules. This is some of the best stuff. Wait till you see this. I'm trying to find the uh, full four minute. I think it's in one of the replies. Yeah, that's, I'm looking. Right Ryan there. T. Spicer, thank you. He said, Mike, here is the whole clip. I was in his chat watching him play his video games. This guy's like 37 years old. Maybe we should pull up some pictures of him first. Oh, yeah. Let's get a little slideshow. I really want you to get a vibe for who this guy is because he's not very famous. He says this, Mike, I was watching his video game show um, and I tried to scare him a bit. Uh, I said, Red Bar is watching. That's all I said. It wasn't five minutes uh, until he blocked me and then did this rant. And we're going to watch that. But first, pictures of Jeff Leach. So you can get an idea and Google him. Yeah, look at this. I hate the new Google. I sent you his Instagram too. Oh, long. good. Stacy's dad. He's uh, by the way, the Stacy's mom singer died. I didn't tell anybody about this on the show yet. Or not the singer of Stacy's mom. One of the, the Fountains of Wayne band member died. Yes. Oh yeah, of the course. Writer and of Stacy's mom, I believe. The writer of Stacy's mom. Now. Nobody sings the song Stacy's Mom more than me. Maybe there will be a live performance at the end of today's show if you could find a, an incredibly well-recorded version with great lyrics. Uh, everyone's heard the song. Stacy's Mom, she's got it going. She's got it going on. She's all I want and I've waited so long. I sing that nearly every day single day it's true 
We'll show you Jeff Legion in a second. And I sing the stuff like I'll walk around the house and go, Stacy's dad, he's acting like a I hate this guy. I don't know why he's my dad. And I do it really cringe and shitty. And then I saw the guy died. We took a lit, uh, look, Sarah Silverman. It turns out she was good friends with him. So I went over to her Instagram. I said, why would you say you knew him? You didn't know. She was pouting and complaining that, oh my God, my good friend has died. Go over to her Instagram. You can see. And I, I commented, you didn't know him. Why are you trying to insert yourself into his death? Is that too far to say that, Jules, do you think, to somebody? If Probably, it, in fact, is the good it friend. into the public eye, so. Stacy's dad, he's <laughs> acting like, acting like a fag. <laughs> we'll do that one later. Literally, I sing that every day. And then he died, and I was thinking, nobody has sung his song more frequently and more recently than me. Shouldn't I be involved in this man's funeral or telethon or is it a televised funeral with a mile long down the street with people coming to see him? They should ask you to perform. I want to uh, do like a Dr. Martin Luther King style funeral for this guy where I, you know, say some words at his funeral. There's no one singing that song more than me. There couldn't have been. All right. I'm going to show you Jeff Leach for God's sakes. And you're going to love this fucking guy. Uh, let's go to his Instagram. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's cooking up. He's really something, man. Uh, of course, there's not going to be any of those old photos, is there? Oh, look at this. You know, Instagram's doing this new thing. They force you. So I'm blocked by Jeff Leach. So I have to go to a separate browser to open these things up to view pictures of him. I'm completely... Uh, but when you're logged out now, look what it does. It stops you from stalking people. Do you what? see this? This is a new feature. No. You can't go to someone's Instagram now. You can get a preview for two seconds, then it locks you completely out. Well, so we I'm, get uh, it. Well, no, they don't get it. I don't think they've seen him at all. They're, uh, Jules, you got to remember, there's thousands of new people watching the show. They, they got to, you got to really see this guy. Uh, but they get it, I guess. I mean, I'll send you more pics. Yeah, send me like uh, saved pics that you've blown up because the new Google images throws it over there. But. We will show you what he's done. And he went really mad. He has threatened me physically, uh, which is great. And here's this little Facebook video. Thank you to Ryan T. Spicer for doing it. You'll see he's in his gaming chair. Uh, here we go. Let's listen. Josh Hill. Yeah, I did. That's awesome, dude. Um, are you... Uh... Are you ex-military? Because I know that a lot military. of guys the mocap for, certainly for the Modern Woo. Warfare uh, reboot, Woo. the 2019 one. They were all ex-military guys. Okay, you know, so, so they can move. Uh, we start it? a little early because we're just showing you. He's gaming. He's having a great time playing uh, Call of Arms or whatever the fuck this is. And you see there's a guy with a gun. There's all sorts of text. It looks like uh, your typical episode of Revenge of the Sis, if you've ever seen that, or Gloom Tube, maybe. There's so much going on on the screen. you got to be a gamer to understand all these tokens and widgets. And there he is in the corner. And nobody's bothering him. Nobody's giving him a hard time. And, and, and Ryan comes in and he'll say one thing. Red Bar is watching. And this is going to throw Jeff off. Watch gun. this. It wasn't my gun to yet. That was just me just playing badly. I was actually trying to do a couple what? of different things at once. I need a moderator here in the YouTube to keep out these red bar cunts. Whoa! Uh, so let's go. Hey, give zero FX. You ready? So to that's what he's concerned. I guess he already made the comment. Red bar is watching. And it was only one guy. Red bar was not watching. There were no other guys. Just one fucking guy. I hate that. how British people get so excited about saying the word cunts. I know, really. Know the cunt thing's got it. I'm going to tell you, listen. To the British people, we understand the word cunt in your language. Guess what? Did you know this? Well, we're from cunties into bodies. We goodness. know. Here it's bad. Here it's gross. Stop saying it. But Come they up say with a it new like word. Black people say the N word yes. because they're excited, like they. And then get they to play dumb. It. Then they play dumb. Oh, oh where we're know. from? It's, it's well. No guess idea. what, Jeff? You haven't lived in London in twenty years. All right. <laughs> uh, enough with that. It's cringe. 
So he sees the one guy make a red bar comment, and instantly that's what he's panicking about. Get the moderator! We must get the red... And it's just that simple red bar is watching comment. To mod up my chat a little bit. There we go. Cheers, Jeff. Mm. Mm. Okay, so out of curiosity, did you have to pay for the ghost skin? Uh, no, I didn't. No. They sorted me out. They looked after me. So he's just worried, and you can tell he's worried. He's starting to pick at his facial hair, and he's staring. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is my gameplay going to be interrupted by the Red Bang guys? This is what he's just thinking about, his fucking gameplay. By the way, he's not making a dime off of this. Yeah, it should be, you know, come on. Actually, Casper. Is Casper Zom still here? Let's get Casper here as a mod. Um, You're going to love this. Hey, Soulfire Prime. What's going on, man? Welcome Made to the stream. Good to see you. Sorry, I missed that originally. Okay, uh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would do. So somebody then uh, sees what's going on here. They go, Jeff, do you like Red Bar? That's it. You see the little comment there? Jeff, do you like Red Bar? Let's see what he says. There we go. Yeah, give zero effects. I'm going to pop you as one as well. Uh, I do not like Red Bar. No, no, I uh -oh. think you're a bunch of fucking morons. The fact that the fact that Red Bar and his audience has spent over a year following my content just shows how much of a fucking hard-on this pussy has for me. What? And now you're under my control. <laughs> a year following his content? I don't know what's going on here. I mean, really, we haven't brought up Jeff Leach in a long time, right? Been, we just since the last time we brought him up, it's been like three years. So it must have really, <laughs> but we brought him up uh, a couple weeks ago during Corona, yeah. like I said, saying that this guy is broke. That must have really. Oh, I know what I did. I did bother him all day. When Jeff Leach <laughs> announced that he was broke and had no health insurance, I went onto his Instagram under my Scars Club account. And I said, ha, 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 this is amazing. You have no money. I went to his Facebook. Ha, 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 this is great. You got no cash. I was blocked on ah. all those things. I forgot. I do like a million things like that a day. I forgot. Well, and then we covered it on the it, show. Then we covered it on the show, which I'm sure he was informed by. So to <laughs> him, this was a huge attack. I mean, when you're not getting attacked, that could seem like a big attack. You know, to me, I didn't even remember. <laughs> So that's, you know, that to me, I, I've done like a thousand of those ha ha ha, you're broke things over the last two weeks. So that's what he's uh, referring to. Let's hear all this again. This is wonderful. Good to see you. Sorry, I missed that originally. Uh, this rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would do. There we go. Yeah. Give zero effects. I'm going <laughs> to pop you as one as well. Uh, I do not like Red Bar. No, no. Whoa! I think you're a bunch of fucking morons. The fact that, the fact that Red Bar and his audience has spent... Yikes. Over a year following my content just shows how much of a fucking hard on this pussy has for me. What? Would never say anything to my face. Would uh. never come and meet me because he knows that he gets fucking head caved in. Oh but shit! There it was. Yo, if I see, I'ma crack your jaw. That was our first one. Was Dante Nero from years ago? I think I have a clip here. Uh, I think if I just type in jaw. Into my computer, so we gotta clip this one. These were good. We used to uh, do this all the time. If I see you, I'm a crack job. Oh, yeah. If I see you, I'm a crack job. My name Dante Nero. I'm a rhinoceros. If I see you, I'm a crack job, nigga. I uh, I guess that was a song about him wanting to. The fuck. A uh, song about him wanting to crack my jaw but he did say that and we find that really hysterical when comics go bad when they start wanting to do hitting there's no hitting there's no killing allowed there's, there's no a lot of killing busting guys out there lately we were thinking about it we go you know you can't live in both worlds where i don't give a fuck about red bar they're all morons i'm untouchable nothing they say would bother me they're nothing to if i ever see him i'll kill him we threw away a year of our life talking to Jeff, which makes us pussies, but he's willing to throw away his whole life in You're, prison from killing you us. Would, you want to go to... Because <laughs> hitting is... You can't, you can't kill somebody anymore. You want to kill me? You want to throw away your whole life for this? <laughs> so this must bother you if you want to end the man. I mean, why can't you just ignore it? That's the better option. Uh, but you can't live in both worlds. Listen, 
You could say, I want to kill Mike. That's the only thing I can think of doing. I can't think of a comeback. I can't think of a way to to get him back. All I can think of is All murder. I can think about is he's got to die. Okay, you could do that, but at the same time, then you can't say, they're nothing to me. They don't bother me at all. Obviously, this bothers you the most. You know, if I ever wanted to end somebody's life, to actually kill them, where I was really... That person obviously really got under my skin. I mean, seriously. So, uh, you know, he's willing to throw it all away. In the chat, they're saying, well, they are killers and murderers, Mike. Yes, exactly. So let's uh, listen. He's going to do some more here today. And uh, this really shows, you know, cave my head in. It's always something like that to crack the jaw, cave the head in. And you go, cave the head in? That's like vicious, man. Cave someone's head in? You would want to even do that? I wouldn't even want to do that if I was uh, fighting with Al-Qaeda. I wouldn't even want to tickle another guy. No. Cave someone's head in, and then you got to live with that imagery of the busted-ass head. I can't even look when they do that in a movie. In 1917, when he stuck his hand in that guy's stomach. Yeah. Ooh, that's gory therapy for years so you're like an actual you're worse than we said you were a red bar no no i think you're a Listen. bunch of fucking morons the fact that the fact that red bar and his audience has spent over a year following my content just shows how much of a fucking hard on this pussy has for me would never say anything to my face would never come and meet me because he knows that he gets fucking head caved in but will spend the entirety of his life dedicating and watching me to his content. Which suggests two things to me. One, he has no content of his own to make. And two, why you got such a hard-on for me, dude? Are you... Are you a little bit into me? Because it sounds a little bit like you're into me. So this is an attempt that they're using now. Sounds like you're a fan. Sounds like you're really into me. In your dreams! But yes, you've got it. We are very into you, as we are with all of our fools. You know, it, it, but it shocks me coming from somebody who's so low on the fool's totem pole here, which is now I think people want to be more of a fool. Like it's now was, comedians are like getting insecure if they're not talked about a lot on Red Bar because that means they stink. I was thinking this about Big Mike when he was complaining about the haters. It's like all you'd have to do is be like, yeah, whether people love me or hate me, they can't stop watching. It's like, yeah, I guess it's yes, pretty hard to well, argue with that, but their listen, egos are we're so We're watching big. you to make fun of you. It doesn't <laughs> count, okay? I know you wish it counted. It doesn't count. We're not fans of your work. Obviously, it's the opposite. Everyone could see that. Keep dreaming but i mean we still are watching all of their stuff and if they're yes. making money off clicks then why isn't that enough for you why did we have to love you and feed exactly your ego? well this is it so this is what it is it's comics it's not about the money and this goes for influencers logan paulers anybody who's doing this race to the top nonsense it's never about the money it's not about even the fame it's about the admiration you know, the comics and the influencers are not happy unless everybody loves them. That's ultimately what they're looking for. You've been exposed, bro. It's one of the gayer th needs in the world to need everyone to like you. And you see it constantly. The proof is right in front of you. You'll see uh, every influencer gets... Uh, and I, I consider comedians to be influencers now, by the way. That's why That's we hate them. Acting. That's why we hate them. You know, it, uh, comedians weren't supposed to be uh, marketing ad men, uh, selling you uh, dick pills and all this shit. That's what influencers did. Those were icky people that we made fun of, losers. The reason we hate comedians right now is because they're not being comedians. People ask me all the time, Mike, are there any comedians you like? No, not at the moment, because they're not being very comedian-y. Comedians used to be counterculture. Now they're the mainstream culture. They're influencers. Comedians are the exact same as the girls from The Bachelor who sell sugar bear hair vitamins on their Instagram stories. That's why we're so upset with them at the moment. We deserve real comedians. You know what I wouldn't give to have a role model to look up to? Somebody that I go, 
that guy is this shit. This fucking rules. He's giving me some really nice things. I, I could actually listen to someone. That would be fantastic. That's why I'm so upset. Because they're not doing that. So they're acting like influencers, which is uh, really fucking gross. And the reason that I hate them is because I've been studying them for so many years. And I've come to the conclusion that they're not in this for the laughs. They're not in this for the jokes. They're not in this for the money or the fame. They need everyone to like them. And that's why they could get a thousand positive comments. But the one negative comment, they go nuts. They want to cave people's heads in. They want to crack their jaws if they say something bad about them. They can't have it. I need everyone. That's the psychosis. That's the mental problem that the comedians have. And that's why I deem them bad. And that's the reason that they're so irresistible to make fun of. Yes. That's the reason yes. you're on this show is because of your ego. If so. you didn't act like this, you wouldn't be here. We're not just picking celebrities out of a hat to make fun of. Uh, if we did, I'd be picking people like Brad Pitt. I'd be doing bigger guys. I wouldn't be doing Jeff Leach. What would be the point? Um, so uh, it, it is exposing I don't know where we left off. Let's see. Let's hear some more. And two, why you got such a hard on for me, dude? Are you, are you a little bit into me? Because it sounds a little oh, yeah, bit like sure. you're into me. This has been going on for over a year now. The the attack. Yes, yes we're the into attempt. you. Yes, we're we addicted. are into you. We're obsessed with you. Of course, we are obsessed, and we find <laughs> no shame in that. We also find no shame in being haters or any of this stuff. This is we're clearly doing this on purpose. I don't know if you thought that, like, I just screw slipped up and accidentally, <laughs> and accidentally, oh, talked, about accidentally talked shit and revealed the, these weaknesses. No, no, no. This is very purposely done. We have extensive notes and we watch <laughs> other shows and haha. Ha, and we've been doing it for about 17 years. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, yes, it's, it's, uh, we're very aware of the concept here at Red Bar. <laughs> Bit embarrassing for you, man. Get yourself a girlfriend. Or maybe a comedy career. Oh, wait. You're shit at stand-up. Okay. We'll just keep doing your shitty. Why do they all assume that I am a stand-up or I want to be a stand-up or a failed... It's like... They, again, they need... It's almost like they want to just tell... It's like Joe Rogan trying to tell himself that the sauna will kill the coronavirus. They can't accept... They don't want to accept the criticism. They don't want to have to look at that, so they go, I gotta find an excuse. You know, not everybody wants to be a fucking comedian, bro. It's insane. Those are your things, man. That's your life. Stand up. Okay. We'll just keep doing your shitty podcast. That works for you as well. That works for you. Yes, you it keep does. hardcoring on me. And thanks for all the new viewers as well, by the way. Appreciate you, dude. All right, here we go. Let's uh Another attempt was made. Thank you for all the new viewers. I appreciate it. This is very funny. We, uh, this was, they tuned in. They had 19 viewers right now. So while Jeff is, and this is hours into his gameplay, hours into his games, he had 19 viewers watching live. So when he says, thanks for all the new viewers, well, wow, what did you have before, bro? <laughs> Five? I mean, come on, man. You just posted something last week saying you have no savings, no money, no health insurance. Now you're saying thanks for all the new viewers, but you've got 19 here, so let's pretend five are new. Do the math on that. I can't. <laughs> I'm not a numbers guy, but it is very low. All right? So you can't just say anything. You know what I mean? You can't just say anything. This is just such a temper tantrum that you're throwing here. I mean, it's wonderful for us. By all means, this is a gift to us. We don't get mad when people do this. We get very happy and excited. And our show notes are written in all capital letters when stuff like this <laughs> happens. Uh, let's hear some more. We'll just keep doing your shitty podcast. That works for you as well. That works for you. And keep hardcoring on me. And thanks for all the new viewers as well, by the way. Appreciate you, dude. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's do another one. Let's do another little rando, um, another rando uh, gameplay. So you gonna do anything else? Do 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 do. 
Hey, give zero effects. You can do me a favor. Anyone who comes in and mentions Red Bar or anything like that, you can just immediately uh, ban them from the channel. Just go hide user on this channel Whoa! and get rid of them. Soulfire Prime, it's oh all good, man. God. It's all good. Ooh, Jeff, I'm fucking fire. New legend joins Very us. Very mad. I couldn't even believe it when we said they go, Jeff Leach. That's out of left field. I didn't think all these people that we've been picking on this week for Jeff Leach. You think there's any more? Well, he's recording it longer. Maybe there's something else here. New legend joins the leeches. Welcome, Adam Bomb. What's going on, my man? Um, what was that donation earlier on? I completely donations? missed it. Donations? I feel really bad now that I didn't see it. Let me see if I can find it on stream. You know, they're also taking donations here. By the way, if you're new to Red Bar, we're anti-donation. We're old now. We're established. We don't need donations. Look at the bottom of his screen. PayPal me. Do this. Send me money on cash. I could accept money on all the platforms here. Please, please. Dude, you're like uh, 39 years old here. This should all be figured out by now. You shouldn't be needing handouts. Team labs. This is what happens when you're producing whilst also playing. Let's see if he says anything else. myself in game for a second so we don't spoil the surprise. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Open up Streamlabs. I'm sure I can see Ooh, the donation. Ooh, look at that. A new legend joins the new leeches. New legend joins the leeches. Da -da -da. Welcome, new viewers. Good to have you guys on board. Appreciate that. Do -do 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 -do. I haven't seen oh, this. Oh, here so. it was. It was Hobry. Thank you so much for the $10 donation. This is random, but you're one of the first streamers I ever watched on Mixer. Random. And actually part of why I decided to make Mixer my home for streaming. Wish it was more, but I want to stop in and say thank you. First of all, dude, yes, donations no. are always, always, oh no, there you go. Good. I know all too well about streaming and gaming. Look at this horse shit, man. You know who else is gaming right now? Brian Redband. He's doing VR. He actually sold me on that VR. I want to get that. It's making me want that. Yeah, I want like that yes. VR Half Life. Can someone send me that? What is that? The uh, Osmosis Machine? Or at least just tell us how to get it. Omni Pro Go, I think it's called. I don't know what I that want, is. I want like a real VR universe where you walk yeah. around. I'll play with that for three seconds before throwing it into a pile. I hate no, I gaming. No, I think it'll be fun. I don't, bro. Uh, somebody get me that uh, VR headset that Brian Redband has. Half life. That's what I want to do. I want to go. Whoa. Yeah, that's yeah. Fun. No, I do. I'm saying I like it. He can't move out of the projects Cause Gino is flat broke